The Yemeni army has told Press TV that nine British special forces were killed in a Yemeni retaliatory attack in the province of Najran in southwestern Saudi Arabia. Several Pakistani mercenaries also died in the attack. For sure, nine British soldiers were killed in the battlefront of Najran as they were commanding the Saudi mercenary toward the Yemeni borders. This proves remarks of former Saudi Foreign Minister Adel al Jubair that inside the Saudi operations room there are military officials from the US, Britain, France and even Israel. Last week, UK Media Daily Express reported that several British forces from Special Air Service who were deployed on a top-secret mission in Yemen were injured in Yemeni's attacks. The UK's tonic support for Saudis in the deadly war in Yemen has been denounced in Britain and beyond. Days ago, a damning UK parliamentary report said UK arms sales to Saudi Arabia since the start of the war on Yemen have been causing significant civilian casualties in the country. The Yemeni army says the Western support is the obstacle to peace in Yemen. Yemen's vital port city of Hodeida has been the key to finding a solution to the crisis in Yemen. The Houthi Ansarla fighters and Saudi-backed militants agreed to leave Hodeida under the UN-sponsored truce deal. The pullback was supposed to have taken place on December 18, but the deadline was missed. The Supreme Revolutionary Committee of Yemen has blamed the Saudis for the delay in the implementation of the truth agreement. Under the deal, they were required to retreat from their current positions that stand in the way of humanitarian aid, a move they are not willing to do. Meanwhile, the Yemeni retaliatory attacks continue as the Saudi war claim more lives. On Sunday, more than 40 Saudi-led forces were killed in a strike by a domestically manufactured ballistic missile fired by the Yemenis on their base near the region of Najran. The recent spike of retaliatory attacks, according to experts, sends strong message to the invading forces including Saudi Arabia, the US and its allies. That more painful retaliatory operations lay ahead if the chance for peace is not seriously considered. Mohamed Attab, Press TV, Sana'a.